It's a craftsman's way, it's very slow work. There are a lot of cogs in the wheel that have to fall into place. The detail is really important to me. If you don't love that, you don't love polo. My name is Malcolm Borick. I'm a professional polo player. I've been playing polo since I was 11 years old. The moment I got on the horse, I think I fell in love with the game. You know when you get on the horses in the first couple of minutes of a match, whether you've got the setup right. It's a balance between the training, the feed, the exercise, the conditions. This is a physical and mental challenge that you have to be up for every time you go and play. I come to the barn quite early in the morning because I like to come and practice penalties. It's something I'm very fanatical about. It's a win or lose game situation for me, though, that one shot that you might have that makes a difference between you getting through or not. All you've got to do is make the swing, and when you're hitting them well, there's a rhythm. One, two, three, hit, two, three. And it's a rhythm I try and recreate in my mind and I physically say it out loud as I go to hit the ball. Preparation for a match is anything for an hour, an hour and a quarter before the game. We'll be down by the field, get all our gear out, get all our stuff ready. This is a really demanding and physically risky sport. So you have to put yourself in a mental position where you're ready to play. 24 hours leading up to that match, you have to be getting yourself in a frame of mind to get ready. Polo is inevitably the manufacturing, the fabrication of the equipment that we use, from the handmade saddles to the bridles. These are all very detailed and delicate bits of kit that have had decades of research put into them to try and create high-tech level equipment. Trying to find the best of what we've got out of every horse, that's our ultimate goal. The body type and the shape and the little tricks that we look at in the eyes and the ears will tend to indicate to us whether the horse will make a good polo pony. The making of a grey horse is the sum of the parts. What we're looking for in a polo pony makes them the ultimate equine athlete. They have to have the engine of a racehorse, they have to have the brakes of a quarter horse, and they have to have the brain of a, dress, a horse that does dressage. What we're looking for in a polo pony is the equivalent of the ultimate 4x4. We want a horse that corners on rails, so it goes round using all of its body to go around a corner. It has to run and stop in a very straight line. So it is the expression of an elite athlete in the same way that a top level SUV will be exactly that expression of a sports motor vehicle. Polo, it's the sum of everything you can hope for. The adrenaline, the speed, the teammates, the complicity of the sport makes it the perfect challenge. I always say the most addictive thing about polo is you can never have the perfect day. You can play eight chuckers of the best polo of your life, but you'll think of the one shot that you could have done better, and that's what keeps us coming back. <laughs> <laughs>